If you're an independent artist trying to build a successful music career, you have probably asked yourself this question, and it's a question that I got from one of my clients last night in my Rapid Fire Music Academy group call. My client, Zana, she asked me, hey Lee, after I'm done with my song, what do I do to promote it? What do I do to get it out there? How do I get attention to my song? How do I effectively market my music? Which uh, I'm sure you and me and many other artists have asked that exact same question. So I kind of want to shed light on it because, well, not to toot my own horn, but I think I gave her a pretty darn good answer and it was very well formulated. So I'm gonna give it to you here really quick. I'm on a walk right now here in the morning. I'm on day 40 something of 75 hard. And uh, anyway, so when it comes to actually putting out your song and getting attention for it, marketing it, what I found is the biggest challenge that you're probably having is, look, there's all these different things you can do out there. There's all these different ideas I can do. Um, I wanna do them, but I also don't know what to do. And I feel like there's so much that I have to do. And it just feels very, very confusing. So I'm gonna keep it really, really, really simple for you. There's really three things you gotta think about when it comes to effectively marketing your music. And the first one is I call it the bird's eye view or the 30,000 foot view. Essentially, what is the overall goal? So it's important to realize what your, what place your actual music and what place your songs play in the bigger strategy. So for me, right, I teach music artists how to become their own producers. So that means I teach you how to produce instrumentals, record vocals at home, mix and master so that you can actually release a high quantity of high quality songs and in turn build a successful music career. So that's my business. That's how I make money. That's how I put food on the table. That's how I pay the bills. That's how I'm able to support myself and my wife. So I don't want to just coach though. I want to also make my own music and put out music. So because I love making music, I love putting it out. I love marketing it. Um, and I know when it comes to my 30,000 foot view, I didn't care. I, I didn't want to care how many streams I got or views I got or whatever it was. And I also don't want to go tour. I don't want to have to do that. And I didn't want to sell merch, even though I'm wearing a piece of my own merch here, some exclusive shit. Um, but I didn't, I didn't want to have to go through that same I didn't want to have to go through that same route as every other independent artist. So I had to think about the entire 30,000 foot view for me as like, well, I want to make songs. I want to put them out, but like, what's really the overall goal for me in my music business in my life. And so the, the part that my songs play in my overall life strategy and business strategy is this, when it comes to producing songs and like, I'm going to teach you how to make beats, mix and master. I'm going to teach you music production and I'm going to transform you as a, as somebody who just writes lyrics and record vocals. I'm going to transform you from that to actually becoming your own music producer, which changed my life. Well, what better way for me to prove that I know what the fuck I'm talking about than to actually like make great songs, put them out and showcase that I actually like know how to do that. So that's the place that my music plays in my overall strategy. That's why I do it. So you got to think about it in the sense for yourself. Like, why are you, why are you putting out the songs? What's the overall strategy? And if you don't know, that's fine. Put it out there and make it anyway. And and just, you'll figure it out along the way. So that's step one is what's like the 30,000 foot view, the bird's eye view. Step two is organic content. So if you go check my Instagram profile, you'll see that I, and if you want, you can go follow me on Instagram at Leezy the Gifted. Basically, I'm just doing vertical videos. I don't even make, like this current format for YouTube is horizontal. I don't even make horizontal music videos anymore. Um, Although they can be rewarding at the end, it's not, you don't get a great bang for your buck uh, in terms of the amount of time, energy, attention, money, and resources that go into making a music video. So I don't do those anymore. I do strictly vertical videos where, you know, you 
turn your phone like that <laughs> and <laughs> you, you hold your phone up and down and you, you film a video or you can use a, a, a good camera. You don't have to use your phone. Um, and I'm just basically performing my song. Sometimes I'll look right at the camera. Sometimes I'll like look that way where, oh shit, almost tripped, where like, I'll be like rapping, like been living on my dreams, got to make, but I'm looking that way instead of the camera. You could do either one. I frequently will just do this in my studio, which is also where I live because <laughs> I live in the studio. So I, I will literally do this all sitting at my desk or standing and doing it recording where it's not like, it, it doesn't always have to be a big thing. Like where you go somewhere to a location. You, you can do that too. I actually have uh, one of my songs I put out called Summit. We went out to like a location and we basically like filmed a music video, but we did it all vertical and I just cropped it. I, I chopped up the pieces so that they could fit for the pieces of the song. So I'll give you an example. Summit, that's a great example for me. So Summit, and if you want, you can go listen to that song on Spotify, Lazy the Gifted. Um, Lazy the Gifted, by the way, is all one word. So for Summit, it starts like this. It starts with the chorus, then verse, then chorus, then another verse, and then the, the, the last chorus. So five parts to the song, right? So that means that's five different videos for one song. And if I wanted to go film it multiple times, what I would essentially do is each time I go film, that'd be five videos, right? So if I'm in the studio, and by the way, I didn't do any studio sessions for that song. I should have done that, but I could always just go redo it. But yeah, so you get the point. If you want examples of this, go check my Instagram, Lazy the Gifted. Go check my pinned posts and you'll be able to see exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so part one is the overall strategy, the 30,000 foot view, the bird's eye view. Part two, organic content. Part three, paid ads. Now, I love paid ads. Paid ads is like you turn it on, turn it off. You can increase it, decrease it. It guarantees that you get fans if you have great music and great content. Now, when it comes to paid ads, I use Facebook and Instagram ads to promote my songs. And I haven't and this is to try to grow on Spotify. I'm not a big Spotify guy. Like I'm more on the route of like what the Russell talks about and like what most independent artists do. However, for me personally in my situation, again, thinking about that 30,000 foot view. If I'm teaching you how to produce songs and I've got dope songs and those dope songs have hundreds of thousands of streams or millions of streams, then again, it's just more proof of concept that I know what the fuck I'm talking about, but I didn't want to buy fake streams or cause I could have easily just bought fake streams or gotten placed on bot playlists and shit and made it look cool. And f I could have faked it, but I'm not a faker. I don't, fa I don't fuck with that. I don't fuck with the fake shit. I'm not a fake person. And I would hate to build my music career and build my whole reputation off fake shit can't fuck with that. I would rather have a bit dismal results that are real than great results that are fake. So anyway, I'm running these, these Facebook and Instagram ads. Um, and I'm actually doing it using AI. There's actually a really great website called hyped it with two P's H Y P P E D I T.com. And it's insane. He, the guy, his name is John, John gold. He's the founder of Hyped It. Hyped It is a smart link or, you know, a link tree smart link creator. But you can also run ads that will connect with your Facebook page and Instagram account. And you can set up Facebook and Instagram ads in like five to ten minutes, like really quick and fast and easy. And like, boom, you literally just set them up, let them go and don't touch them for like four weeks. And then you can evaluate your campaigns and go from there. He even has this thing he does where... They'll do it where you can generate a this is playlist. If you want to go check that out, hyped it. I don't have like a training on it yet, but if you want to go check him out, just H Y P P E D I T. Go look him up on YouTube, watch his YouTube channel. You'll be like, oh shit. Like this guy, I, I swear, like I don't have an affiliate link. I don't know the dude personally yet. Um, I would love to connect with him, but like th this guy has literally figured out how to revolutionize 
running ads to grow on Spotify. And this, by the way, is the best way to grow. I've done playlists. I've done my own Facebook and Instagram ads. I've done a lot of different types of things. By far, this is the best way to do it, is using the hyped it, I guess he calls it the hyped it growth switch. Hyped it Spotify growth switch, I believe. Um, he also has a course you can buy for $17, which is like pff, super worth it. Anyway, so going back again, three strategies on how to promote your songs, how to market them effectively, how to grow a fan base. One, think about the overall strategy and how that relates to your overall music business and your life. Two, organic content. Three, paid ads. Hope you enjoyed the video.